G'day folks, Rod from My Water Filter here today. And what we're gonna do is just have a quick look at how we would flush our new Dalton Ultra Carb Twin Bench Top Water Filter with fluoride removal, okay? Now, please hang in there. This is a vitally important video. If this is your water filter, you would have heard me say before, it's not easy to get fluoride out of water. There's only a couple of ways that work properly, and that's a reverse osmosis system or one of these USA fluoride removal cartridges taken out 97%. But you must flush this fluoride removal cartridge before you pass water through this water filter or all the fines out of this cartridge are gonna block on the outside of this fine Dalton cartridge and that will block it up or considerably slow the flow rate and then you have to take it out and scrub it to get it working again, okay? So this is what we do when she's, uh, she's ready to go. So we've already installed it, nice new filter and it's been installed, but we haven't turned any water onto this filter yet, okay? So this is what we wanna do. We've got the fluoride cartridge in position one, we've already inspected it after it came from the quarry and it's all good to go, ready to go and it's connected up. So we're simply going to lay the filter over, put the tool over the ceramic cartridge and loosen it off. And we're just gonna stand him up and we're gonna take this Dalton Ultra Carb cartridge out of the system and leave it out while we flush the fluoride removal cartridge on its own. So here's the Dalton cartridge coming out. Okay, we put him out of the way so we don't knock him over. We'll put the housing back on. And as you can see, just to be sure, there's no, no cartridge in here, okay? Cartridge is out the back, out the road, so we don't knock it over. We've got a fluoride cartridge in position one. We've got no cartridge in position two. And we're putting the housing back on. Put the housing on. Just tighten him up a little bit so he doesn't leak. Beautiful. Fluoride removal cartridge in position one. Empty housing in position two. Cartridge out the way. Turn the water on. 10 minutes. We must flush this cartridge for 10 minutes. As I say, it's not easy to remove fluoride from the water. There's only a couple of different ways that work. This is one of them. But with this cartridge, you must flush it for 10 minutes before you start to get any fines out of this cartridge or they're gonna block on the outside of this cartridge and block it up, okay? Once we do this first initial flush, then you're good to go, you won't have any worries. So that's why it's so vitally important today. So we've removed the cartridge, we've got an empty housing, fluoride cartridge is still inside here. We're turning the water on, 10 minutes of flushing, flat out, all right? Turn the tap on, flat out, just flush that water for 10 minutes, flushing the fluoride cartridge, get a bucket, put it on the pot plants, look after the water, that's very cool. After 10 minutes, we're good to go. Get a glass of water, it's looking nice and clear. She's beautiful, if it had a little few white specks in it, you could give it another five minutes if you like, but at least 10 minutes and we're good to go, okay? After we've flushed this fluoride cartridge for 10 minutes, we'll turn the water off, we'll put our housing tool back on the top, we'll just give it a unscrew, and we're gonna unscrew that housing, okay? Get our Dalton cartridge, put it back in, make sure we don't knock it over as we're installing it. Screw that housing back up. There we go, tool on, just a nip to make him tight, and we're good to go. What we'll do now, turn the water on, and we're gonna flush it for a further five minutes, okay? Fluoride cartridge has already been pre-flushed for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna flush our Dalton for five minutes. This Dalton cartridge has got carbon on the inside. When you turn it on, I will expect black water to flow out of this spout initially. Just keeping in mind that any cartridge that's purchased anywhere in the world is gonna need some form of flushing. It's just part of water filtration and you need to flush the cartridges. Once we flush this Dalton for five minutes, you can turn it off and this water filter is good to go. These cartridges will activate overnight, next 12 hours. So when you wake up the next day and you come out to the sink, just quickly turn it on, drop three litres of water through the whole system as it is. Don't pull anything apart. Just come out and turn it on as though you're gonna get a drink. 
let three litres of water come out and then put a glass under it and have a nice drink yourself and I'm sure you'll be very happy because they do make very nice tasty water these systems, okay? So please adhere to that, it's vitally important and if you do that, then this water filter will work a treat. If you don't flush this fluoride cartridge, what's going to happen is all the fines from the fluoride cartridge will come over, they'll stick on the outside of your Dalton cartridge and you'll have to give it a scrub to get that off to get it working properly again. So good luck, any problems, give us a uh, call or have a chat to us and we'll be happy to have a, help you out. Bye for now.